I am not an exercise buff, Adrian. I don't know why you're doing this to me. So Adrian from Strip Coverlet wants me to do gym videos. Adrian, I hate you. I have just finished a three kilometer run, which I use two apps for. I use Couch to 5K, which is this really awesome app that slowly builds you up from being a couch potato like I was, to finally being able to run for 5Ks without stopping in a good amount of time. I'm on week seven at the moment and you walk for five minutes, like a brisk warm up walk, and then you have to run for 25 minutes flat out. And I struggled because yesterday I had a cheat day involving copious amounts of wine and junk food. But I did finish a book, which I'm very excited about, but I'm gonna leave uh, my review for The Au Pair by Emma Rue for my January wrap up at the end of the month. After my runs, I then go onto my yoga mat and I do some belly exercises because I got some belly fat to lose. I usually just go onto YouTube, find a whole bunch of really great like, lower abdominal workouts that I think would be really good and then I just shove them all together and do them by myself while I do my exercises as I still want this to be a booktube channel Adrian and not exercise and health all the time I'll be telling you about a book that I just picked up yesterday after finishing the au pair and that is called fool me twice it's a memoir by Jules Hannaford Jules actually reached out to me she's a murderino if you don't know what a murderino is it's the podcast, My Favourite Murder, which is a true crime comedy podcast, great. She's a writer that is a murderino. She is also Australian but lives in Hong Kong now. So she reached out to me and wants to come onto my podcast, Books and Booze, which is in the running to win at the Australian Podcast Awards, guys. I am so freaking thrilled. We're in the top 10. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It was the most incredible thing to hear that voting's open internationally so if you've got an email address or two please take two minutes to just go and vote for us you do have to register your email address but i swear promise you there's no spam mail so i'll leave the link in the description box down below it truly would mean everything to me if you can go and vote for us anyway so this book is it says confessions of a perpetual internet dating neophyte I don't know what a neophyte is but quick google search just told me that it is a beginner in something, whether it be cooking or whatever, so it's clearly her beginning to go on to internet dating. And yes, I did have to Google that. I may read an excessive amount of books, but I never claim to know every word in the dictionary, so... One of my favourite workouts for my abs is where you lie on your back like this, arms by your sides, and then you lower your legs down until you can feel your core get engaged and you leave it there like pretend that the floor is super hot you can't touch it and then you raise back up Woo bum! should have probably worn better things for this so then you just carry on doing this a couple of times so while i do that i will talk to you about this this is actually a great way to carry on exercising and still talk to you about books isn't it so i've just read the first two chapters of this yesterday i really enjoy Jules writing style. It's very reminiscent of Australia. It's, it just takes you back into her childhood and growing up as an Australian girl on this farm and it's just everything that you could expect for an Australian novel to be like. It's probably even more so amazing, amazingly well descript, descripted for an Australian setting than even Jane Harper or Chris Hammer, you know, those big crime Australian books. Oh my god, this is super hard. <sighs> the next one I love to do is called The Bicycle, I believe, where you just put one knee to the opposite elbow. And the slower you go, the more engaged you're going to be. So just carry on doing this. So this book, Fool Me Twice, it's also incredibly sad, like from chapter two. She starts going into details about how she feels she's always going to be alone, and in fact, psychics told her that, which is really disheartening for someone to tell you, isn't it? But she's not, she's never had anything but like one uh, Valentine's secret admirer when she was a kid, and she just feels like she's going to be alone forever, and that's really sad. So that's where I've gotten to in the book now. And, well, her character from childhood, it says stuff about how she's going to 
um, she's very independent and she was the oldest of all the children and she always looked after everyone and she was just very smart and awesome and um, yeah so it's really sad that she thinks that she'd never be with anyone in my opinion because she seems lovely um, and then yeah she basically has this way of always doing like she's got the buddy curse so she's got lots of friends but they never turn into anything more <sighs> I feel the burn oh I hate you Adrian I also love my stomach crunches you can actually do a couple of different types of stomach crunches so one that I actually really enjoy is where you go like that So then the book goes on apparently to Jules deciding to leave Australia. Oh fuck. <laughs> Guys, this is hard. I never claim to be an expert at this kind of thing. I am the most unfit person in the world and why Adrian wants me to do these videos is beyond me. Anyway, so she leaves Australia and she moves to Hong Kong with her daughter and then she decides to start internet dating. I'm gonna switch to stomach crunches now. Because stomach crunches are great. All you've got to remember with stomach crunches is that you need to make sure you're working your abs and not your neck because then you could really hurt yourself. So just make sure that you're doing the right thing. Ugh. So, yeah, she starts internet dating and then she realises that she's put her life in major danger all because she has this ambition and this, like, hope that she's going to get like be loved one day and have love in her life. But unfortunately, this could cost her everything and put her in real danger. And that's scary, I mean, if you think about it, I met my partner on, ugh, on Tinder and I've had some pretty crazy experiences on Tinder, personally. I mean, I haven't really spoken much about them, but the one time I went on a date when I was still in South Africa, and went out for dinner. Dinner was wonderful with this guy. And then I um, decided we're having such a good time. Let's go for a walk on the beach afterwards. Stupid me. Um, then saw the lighthouse, not the lighthouse, the like, life-saving shack on the beach. And he was like, why don't we go and explore it? And I was slightly pickled after a few wines. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. As soon as he got me in that life-saving house, he pushed me to the wall and onto the floor and I had to, luckily, my ex-fiance had showed me some really good um, quick self-defense tricks because he's a sensei in karate and I managed to knee him very hard in the nuts, run away very quickly um, and run down the beach and it just, like, it shocked me so much because you realize that when you're on the beach, no one can hear you scream. There's just the roaring ocean and that's it. And things could have ended really badly for me there. So I, I do believe that internet dating needs to be taken very seriously. And you've got to remember to really look after yourself in these situations. I mean, I've dated an absolute narcissist that I moved country for to Spain. And if we all know how that ended if you've been here for a while. So just if you are internet dating, Please just be very, very careful with how much you trust someone. So I feel like this book, I mean, so far it's been pretty, pretty easy going, just, you know, getting to know the author and her childhood and her background, but I feel like it's going to get pretty heavy and scary pretty quickly. So this one, you lie on your mat, hands to your sides, and it's like a reverse crunch. So you bring down and up, but you've got to try and do it very controlled. These are all amazing for your lower abs. I'd say try and do each of these exercises for about 30 seconds each and take a break in between them because otherwise you're gonna burn pretty freaking hard. Uh, I'm sorry, my abs are now done. One day, 
This is going to be a six pack. Not a flabby mess. It's going to happen one day. Next one, I think you would kind of call it like a butterfly thing. So again, you raise your legs, lower them until your core is engaged. And then you just switch like a butterfly, like put your ankles over the other and do this for about 30 seconds and you'll really feel the burn. It's amazing how many home workouts you can do that actually really help where you don't need that much equipment. You don't even really need a yoga mat. I just prefer it. Ugh. I need a last one. <laughs> Adrian, this is all your fault. This one I absolutely hate. It is probably my worst exercise, but it, it's really good for you. So just try and get through it. I'll leave this book here so you can like look it up right now while I'm looking like a tit if you want. So this is like a cross trainer, kind of a, not cross trainer, like um, kind of like a mountain runner thing. So you're just gonna go like this. And you can speed it up if you want. And just remember, as always, to keep your core tight and engaged. It is sore. And it really gets your heart rate up as well. It's just one of my very quick workouts I do after a run. I try and do, I've got another app called 7 Minute Workouts where it kind of does your whole body and I really enjoy those too. But my heart's just feeling a bit like, ah, right now, like, I think I need to go get a glass of lemon water and just chill. <sighs> Let me know if this was at all enjoyable for you and what you think about this book because I think it's sounding like it's gonna be pretty hectic and I'm ready for a good scare. I really hope it does bring a bit of a f scary, eerie feel to it because you know I love those kind of looks. Anyway, let me catch my breath. That's what I'm currently reading. Let me know what you're reading in the comments down below. Bye.